<clears throat> hey divas I'm coming to you with a Trezor Deluxe video it's my last one for the month and let me just dive into it okay this little pile is all I have left of um, and one flower <clears throat> of the design team package that Lucy had sent me so let me show you in the previous videos I showed you one this right here used to be like that wide but I used it layer by layer and this is now all I have left and mind you this was big she gives like I think yards and over a yard for each of her trims that she sends us so imagine and this was three times bigger so this is all I have left <laughs> and I used this trim right here is this right here and what I did is you're gonna notice on the, is I cut all of this off and all I used was the center piece right here okay so you'll see that and then I used this trim and I cut them off individually I used two full pieces okay so you'll see that and then I used uh, most of this trim this is all I have left and this right here you're gonna see that I cut off individual flowers here because you can cut these off all individually and use them so I did that and I used most of this one this was a tough one because this was an, a favorite of mine <laughs> And you'll see how I use that um, on both projects. Okay, so that's my pile of amazingness. See, here's one of the little straggler flowers. But those are perfect little fillers for things. Okay, so previously you saw a tote that I made. Now I needed to make a clutch, a little pouch to go with it. Okay, so that is what I did. Now, this is one of the um, canvases, canvas pouches that come from Michaels, okay? So, I originally wrapped it in my eyelet trim that I had in my stash, and it goes from here all the way to the top. It's this big. And it covered the whole pouch perfectly. And mind you, the pouch ends up, up here, so this hangs over. Okay, so it covers through there. And then you'll see how I layered it. I used the rest of this trim. This is that big one that I used to wrap around the purse. This right here. Well, I wrapped the last of the piece all the way around here. And then, actually, <clears throat> let's, let's do this right. I'm doing it backwards. The first piece of trim <laughs> that I put was this pretty white one. This looking bridal type trim. Okay. So I wrapped that all the way around the clutch. Well, pouch. <laughs> And then I layered this on top of it. Okay, so you'll see, if you can, that's where it ends, right here. Okay, so this hangs over. Then I put this, then I put this one, this really big, beautiful one here, and I used every bit of it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and then here's that beautiful one, and I did not cut these individually on the pouch, so I literally wrapped it all the way around. And I put little blings in the center of these little bow looking tight pieces. And then I wrapped it with the remaining of the bling trim that I had that was gifted to me by Natalie. Hi, Natty. I'm sad. I used it all. <laughs> I feel heartbroken. Okay. And then here's the front. So what happened was, is this beautiful wide one that was right here, it did not come all the way. It stopped like right here and then stopped right here I didn't have enough to wrap it around so that's where you have to be very creative on how you do stuff and um, but I did have enough of this beautiful one right here to wrap all the way around so there's one big piece that lays right in the middle which is perfect and plus I knew that I was gonna layer doilies and a flower in that middle so you would not see where that piece ends and begins pretty creative right you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> and then this is one of the bows so you see right here if you were to cut this piece off 
and then cut these off. It looks like a bow. And I did cut these two in individual pieces on another project that's over there I'm going to show you. And But I needed the bows. So I cut that off and put it here. And then there's one of those little flowers. And then I put a little bling in the middle, which is the same as this trim, but I just cut it individually. I thought that would be cute to hang there. It looks super duper. This flower was gifted to me. And I don't remember who gifted it to me. I'm so unworthy. So if it was either Elizabeth, Bridget, P, <laughs> um, or Laura, those are the only ones it could be by. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> My habit is I take everything that's gifted and I put them in their designated spot because I don't like clutter. It stresses me out and it's like a disorder of mine. <laughs> so... I have certain spots where all my handmade flowers go to that are gifted to me, but I do need, I keep saying that I need to be better about it, but I continue to fail. <laughs> so when this flower was made, all I did was it, it laid flatter, but I wanted it to be more dimensional. So I stuck in between hot glue in between that. And then I just started squishing it all together so that it would sit higher. I didn't want it to lay flat, but it was made with this pretty lace underneath it. Then it was layered with this doily right here. And then I layered another doily down here so that it stays, so that it kind of goes from big to medium to smaller. And then that's a stick pin that I added. Okay. And then this right here is an, the last piece of applique that was in my um, design team package. So this whole beautiful little flower bouquet piece is what's laying right here on the side. And that's why I wanted to use this bridal trim because I mixed the white and the creams. I had to keep everything in the same color combo as the tote because they go together. So next design team project, I'm going to, I want to start coloring stuff. So, but I had to keep everything very natural looking. And then I just added, I took off the, the, these come with these ugly little zipper pull thingies. I don't like those, so I cut it off. And here's the other bow, because remember I cut two sections out, so this is the bow. I just put a little cabbage on from my stash. And then um, in the back, I just added another one of those um, flower pieces in the middle. And just use that as like a little dangle. And then I just added all these dangles. Okay, that was that. And then I added one more step on the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. I used more, this trim is all gone now. So that's why I couldn't show you it. This is the last piece of this trim. So I lined the whole inside of this pouch also. And I love it. And I purposely did not have these adhered. Only the top part is. See how pretty? It looks pretty finished in the middle of the pouch. Okay. So. Look at all this beautiful trims. Oh, I love it. It's even, you don't even really need to add too much in my design team package as far as my own stash, you know, because there's so much yumminess. So it's gorgeous. Okay. So that's my pouch. And then... I got one of these at the dollar store. They are these um, little mirrors. And um, in the back, I went ahead and used this really pretty trim that was gifted to me by Marissa. Thank you, Marissa. And um, I layered, I went around the back and then I put a doily here for my stash just to keep it complete. So when it lays down, it's laying on here. It just didn't look right if I left it bare. I don't know, that's just me. So then I layered some of this beautiful trim. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So I layered this beautiful trim that was gifted to me by Natalie also, which I have maybe two inches left. It's tough using good stuff, man. I mean, a lot of stuff is good stuff, but when it comes to blings, oh my gosh, it's heart-wrenching. So I layered it in between, and then I did another layer of this trim up top, which was for my stash from Marissa also. Okay, so doing my best so that you don't see how crazy I look this morning. I'm not going to let you see that, but it's actually a mirror. <laughs> so um, here is where I layered 
one of those layers of that wide trim that I showed you I had. And I'm going to, I need to clean this with Windex. I have a lot of dust and stuff on there. But this is where I layered it. And remember, I cut everything to where only there's a piece of string or of that string that's in between here so that it would maneuver. Because there was like things tied here, tied here, so it would, it would never allow me to turn it. And then I cut those little blings individually and I put them inside. Okay, all the way to where it's there. Okay, and then right here on the handle is where I cut one of those, um, one of these. It's layered like this, but of course I have all that, just this portion of it. And then I cut another one and layered it this way up top. Okay, and then that is where I got, after that I layered on top of it this piece. Then I layered this here, and of course, cut off all of that stuff. Then I layered this really pretty case that holds the cameos. And I layered that on top of there, and then I put a cameo in there. And then what I did is I glossed that, I glossy accented the whole flower because it was a color that I wanted to tone down the color a little bit. And then um, I put some Martha Stewart glitter all on top of it so that because stickles wouldn't have looked right, so I wanted to do it this way. And then I got a really tiny, <clears throat> this cabbage on was black. I didn't want the black. So I just got a small paintbrush and really tiny, and just dipped and did my best to cut, um, to color in between of where all the black was laying at in a cream color that matches this right here. Okay, so that's how I did this piece of the handle. And then right here, I did a little cluster of some flowers. This right here is from my stash. These beautiful little peach buds is from Trezor that I added. And I added some of these little stamens from Hobby Lobby. And then <clears throat> I layered a couple of doilies from my stash. I have a bigger one here and then a medium sized one here. I love layers that's my issue <laughs> and then I have one of these beautiful flowers and because it was kind of big it was bigger than the doily and I didn't want it to be so I put hot glue in the middle and then I squished it in the middle so that this would not because it would have stuck out farther out here and out here and it would have covered all of the doily and I didn't want that so I just squeezed it in and then this beautiful heart right here was gifted to me by Marissa who um, she added this in a, um, I think it was a birthday it was birthday um, gift, so I and it was on a ring, so I popped it off the ring and I put it there. And did the same thing here. Whatever I have going here, I made it equal up here with stamens here. Then I have some stamens right in here. And this right here, <laughs> well, you don't see it very well, but this is where these pieces are. So, if you can see, this right here and here is where this is. So it's like this. And then it's flipped over like that and it's this way on this end. So it's just giving pops of the pretty stuff. And then this right here was the part of this. This right here was hanging at the bottom of this one and I only had four little of these pieces left. So I got to use every piece of it. So I have that layer. The two are here and then the one comes through here and then the other one through here. Okay. So that is my little decorated vintage mirror that I absolutely love it. It came out pretty. Who knows what a, a dollar item could be made to look so yummy, huh? So these are my last two design team projects for the month of July. And we will see what I come up with for next month's design team kit. Thank you again, Lucy, for all your amazing trims that I love. It's so fun to work with.
and thank you ladies and gents so much for all your comments you guys are so awesome i love you guys you guys are so good to me and um i thank you to my new subbies thank you you guys are awesome i hope you enjoy my channel i have my moments where i'm extra silly but i can't help it it's just my nature and <laughs> i haven't been getting to this in that videos i'm so sorry but honestly i have a lot it's very tough for me to do my design team projects because I have six of those to do a month and then, you know, I have to I have swaps in between. So the this and that videos are not going to be as frequent for now. But um, um, they will be back. Don't worry. I will never take that away because I actually enjoy doing those. So um, other than that, that's it. You guys have a beautiful and amazing and blessed Sunday. And I will see. Well, it's not Sunday. I'm recording this video Sunday because I have to save it. But you'll see this on a different day. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to do stuff sooner because I don't have time during the week to do it because um, I work. So other than that, thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.